Adriana Hasso with the American Friends Service Committee is one of many volunteers. She works at this point along the southern border known as Whiskey 8. It's in the San Diego sector where migrants from around the globe gather to be picked up by Border Patrol. This is a scene that repeats itself many times a week. Sometimes there's a handful of people, sometimes it's hundreds. And this is just one of several camps along the border in California. It's the last leg in a very long journey for migrants like Nika Shubitiza from Georgia, who says he came here when enemies of his father came after him. And what should I do? I sell everything and start moving in USA. The first border barrier is about 75 yards away. That's the fence that divides Mexico and the U.S. Migrants overcome that first barrier in Mexico. They either go over it or through it or under it. And then they end up stuck between the walls at a point like Whiskey 8, sometimes for days, where they're hoping to get picked up by Border Patrol to start their asylum process. Through the slats of the wall, Adriana and other volunteers provide food, coffee, information, and other aid that they say authorities don't. In the country with the most wealth in the history of humanity, the most um, technologically advanced um, country, the most powerful economy, and to know and to hear over and over from the authorities that people have to wait under these conditions. Border Patrol says the San Diego sector has become the busiest in the nation with 8,303 migrants apprehended in the first week of May alone. By comparison, Border Patrol took 3,311 people into custody for the entire month of May in 2020. Reporting from San Ysidro, California, for Cal Matters, I'm Wendy Fry.